Hi folks, uh, this little video is to help you interpret results from the Digestive Physiology Lab. So what we have here is a spot plate with various solutions of carbohydrates and sometimes the digestive enzyme amylase, which digests starch. So I'll point out each little uh, spot here. So this came from test tube A1 which contained amylase and water, and uh, iodine was mixed with that. So iodine uh, stains a solution yellow if starch is absent. So starch is absent from this solution, so it stains yellow. This came from test tube 2A, which contained starch and water, and then iodine was mixed with it. So you can see that when iodine is mixed with starch, it turns this dark black or sometimes a bluish black color. This is test tube A3, so this was maltose in water, and apparently uh, uh, the iodine stains maltose slightly too, but uh, it didn't stain it black, so that indicates absence of starch. And test tube 2A was from test or sorry, this is test tube uh, A4. This is amylase and starch solution um, that were incubated at 37 degrees Celsius for one hour, and then iodine was added to this. And you can see there's virtually uh, no starch. Um, it's even lighter than uh, the maltose or the amylase solution. So this would indicate complete digestion of starch. There's absolutely no starch remaining. Um, it's still kind of a mystery to me why the maltose stained a little bit darker um, than this or, or this solution. Um, so I'll have to look up some information about how iodine actually reacts with carbohydrates and that might uh, solve this mystery here. Thank you very much.